Last week, I did a couple of videos on the popularity of Season 4 in Diablo 4. In those videos, I mentioned how Reddit has gone from D4 bad to the majority of the discussions being around gameplay, how to level quicker, how do I get this, how can I get that. It's more about the actual game and advancing in the game. And people are sharing builds, all in all, all positive vibes. And it's no question season four, I continue to say this on every video, is by far going to be the best season so far to date for Diablo 4. I, did, I also did another video because I was getting a lot of comments and stuff was starting to sneak into my comment section on my D4 videos about, you know what, season four is great, but it's lacking end game. I've reached the level 100 and there's nothing left to do. So I created a video about this and I asked a question, what would you do to fix the end game? And in my opinion, I agree with the people that have either come to my live stream or put in the comments on my videos that Diablo 4 needs a better end game. There, it really lacks in that department. So in that video, I got a lot of comments. I think it was almost uh, 100 comments on what people felt about the end game and what they would do. And this is the video right here. How would you fix the end game? And these are the comments that I received and I wanna go over them and see basically what the community is saying regarding how they would fix the end game in Diablo 4. Um, so I'm not gonna read them in any particular order. We're just gonna go through them, see if we get a constant theme. I kind of scroll through some of them, but I haven't gone through all of them. We're not, don't worry. Uh, you know, there's over a hundred comments here, so I am not going to read all of them, but let's see if it comes up with a theme. So I'd add scaling to the level of mobs that correlates to the chance of getting greater affixes on gear. And throw98, thank you for that comment. That's actually a good, a good suggestion. And, you know, when you look at how the current game is today, that's one of the knocks against the pit is the fact that there's no correlation between the gear being better as the pit tier scales up. There really isn't. You don't feel that. And this is a great suggestion, actually, and would actually provide some more depth into the game. So uh, we're starting off great here. Okay. Uh, has it been seen? More end game is always good in that I couldn't agree with you more. However, not being able to upgrade weapon or armor stats during the leveling process feels lackluster at best. There are a lot of people who will never make it to the end game content and will uh, and will miss out a whole crafting system. Although the new ooh boy, wow. Although the new gear is easy to understand, legacy gear stats are still much better previously upgraded through the old system. Yes, you can add gems and temper the new gear, but overall stat enhancement is blocked until reaching and beating world tier 4, nightmare 45 and 46 dungeons. On top of that, there's the grinding of hell tides or whispers just to get mats to enter the pit. Unless you're lucky enough to find a full set of uniques that suit your playstyle or build, why not have the old style upgrading, tempering, and master working, but have it accessible throughout the entire leveling process? Why have the pit man mainly for master working materials? when those materials could be made and drop anywhere. I, I wanna to touch on that point. Each big main town could have had their own unique pit, ending with an echo of Mephisto, Diablo, etc. Wow, that's a great, that is a great suggestion actually. I think the pit was a wasted opportunity that could have been implemented on a larger scale, like randomly the giant worm that belches out demons and helltides could swallow you, take you to, wow. First circle of hell where you have to clear a random lord of hell castle some so yes more end game is always good but a level and material block crucial crafting system in a game where stats matters just poor game dev design choice um wow <clears throat> great <laughs> a long 
answer, but uh, there's a couple of nice, nice gems in there. But I do want to discuss the the comment he made about the pit is the only place where you can get materials for master working. I referred to this kind of game design as, and if you watched any of my live streams, you'll hear me say this often, and that's gatekeeping. Um, the devs are gatekeeping. And what do I mean by that? Um, I, what do I mean by that is the fact that there's roadblocks that they purposely put in the game because they either want to divert your attention or block you from, you know, getting to point A to point B quicker. And in this case, it's being able to constantly farm the pit because, sorry, to masterwork um, gear because you have to run the pit in order to get the materials. Well, if you're farming the pit to get masterworking materials, you need materials in order to enter the pit. So it's a vicious circle um, and it's a form of gatekeeping to a certain degree. And I totally agree with this comment. I would remove that sort of gatekeeping. For example, the materials required to enter the pit, the materials required to masterwork, those should all drop to this viewer's point. It should drop everywhere, not just in certain places. Now, I do want to say that I understand why in game development, it's important to make certain areas provide certain things. I think it's a good thing. But when it comes to such a major, major component of content in a game and to gatekeep it and to say, you must do this in order to do that main component, this is where it's a fine line. Um, and, and, and it's not an easy answer. And the decision obviously is tough, uh, but it's this is a valid point. And I just wanted to touch on that. Okay. I think it's pretty hard to come up with an end game people will enjoy across the board, but things I do think will help help are save builds you can easily bounce between like in D3. Yes, everybody's asking for this. You should be able to save loadouts. Easy peasy should be in the game. More bosses and dungeons, absolutely. Again, this will add more layers to the end game. Any dungeon can be made a nightmare dungeon. Ooh, that's a good one. Make unlocking strongholds also unlock factions and waypoints for each one. Perhaps doing hell tides and nightmare dungeons or whisper quests in the zone of each stronghold gives rewards. Similar to how the Iron Wolf cache is unlocked now. Have special cosmetic rewards as well. Great points, great points. Eventually we will have more primeval rifts in the game. I think the game doesn't give us enough skill points already and would like to see our trees built upon with us with us gaining points all the way to 100. The skill tree to me, I actually did a video on this. Um, <clears throat> the skill tree to me definitely is lackluster. Uh, that's something I would focus on. I would heavily encourage Blizzard to focus on enhancing the skill tree and the Paragon board. It is mediocre at best, and I think there's a lot of meat on the bone that they could add there that would really add to the game. Michael Splatkin says, I'd add one. There's a little sarcasm there. The question was, as you can see here, how would you fix the end game? I'd add one. So I guess Michael feels that there is no end game. And to some degree, I kind of agree with him. Million dollar question, not sure what is next. Something like Atlas. Oh my God, Alec. Thank you for the comment, Alec. Uh, yes, uh, this is why I believe Path of Exile is so popular and why it's deemed to be arguably the best ARPG out there. And that is their end game vis-a-vis -vis one of them, one of the components being the Atlas tree where like the customization and the grind that it provides to Path of Exile players is one of the reasons why it's been so popular for so long. So I totally agree with you, Alec. Something to that degree in Diablo 4 would reap a lot of benefits. Scrap the game and try again with five. <laughs> All right, first Odin. 
appreciate the comment. Okay, crank nuts. This isn't a great answer, but we just need more, a lot more. Yeah, it's it really is that simple. And thank you for the uh, comment, crack nuts. It it really is that simple. Now the solutions aren't simple because after all, creating a quality end game in any game is difficult. But definitely it is that simple they need to add more and i said it in the video look at last epoch there they too are a victim of not having a really good <clears throat> excuse me <coughs> apologies everyone i'm a little bit under the weather and apologies for my voice i should have said that at the beginning of the video um but they're they're um they're a victim of their own demise as well with the lack of end game and now we'll see july 9th when they drop their new content and their pinnacle bosses etc etc but yes there just needs to be more thank you for the comment k mcguire i think it has definitely been the funnest season and the first season i really have fully made alts of other classes that i went all the way to 100 with i think it will be interesting to see how future seasons do with more interesting season mechanics but other than that, I think they should just continue tweaking it. My biggest hope is that the tweak they tweak the pit to make it a bit more interesting. And maybe Nightmare Dungeons on the whole could be worked on a bit to give them a bit more character and make them less monotonous to run over and over. That is a great word, K. McGuire. Monotonous. That is as much fun as people are having, me included. I too have created multiple alts. Uh, so I started softcore. I am now running hardcore. I've put a barb uh, to level 100 on hardcore, and now I'm painfully trying to do the same with a sorceress. Uh, so I've this is the most I've played in a season since the launch of Diablo 4. But I agree with Kay McGuire. When you're constantly playing as much as you are playing and myself included you get to the point where things do become monotonous and that correlates with the fact that there's not enough end game um so k mcguire bang on here to run over now that they have the framework just continue to add things to keep players interested absolutely i think we're gonna stop there because i could go on and on and on and there's a ton of comments there so first of all, thank you for the reaction to the video. I appreciate the support. And look, at the end of the day, I guess what everyone is saying is they just got to add more. They have now added a nice foundation to season four, and they need to continue to tweak and add, tweak and add. And we are now... On my live streams every evening. By the way, uh, come over on Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. I live stream every evening. I'm currently running a hardcore sorceress, trying to complete level 100. It's been quite the challenge. Um, but come over. Uh, we'd love to have you come and check me out. But I'm slowly starting to see a trend happening on my live streams and also in my video YouTube video comments, and that is what is happening what are they going to do for season five and what can they do to add to the end game which is why i made this video and it's going to be very interesting to see because season five is 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 the link between season four and the vessel of hatred so it's going to be very interesting what they do in season five. And we got into a very big discussion about this the other night on my stream. Some people said, do you think they're going to start promoting Vessel of Hatred? That kind of thing. And I don't know what they're going to do, but I can tell you the next two seasons, season five and the Vessel of Hatred expansion, are going to be very interesting and it's going to provide i think a good insight into how blizzard is going to move forward with the success they've seen with season four how are they going to react to that because right now everything is good 
They don't have to do anything in season four. All they're doing right now is just making fixes and butt fixes. By the way, uh, Blizzard, I don't know what's going on with stability in the game, but it's horrible. There are invisible walls, frame rate issues, just laggy and jaggy, like crazy. Like this is the worst from a performance uh, perspective that I've seen uh, that I've experienced in Diablo 4. It's crazy. I personally get DC'd every evening on stream at least once. It's a hell tied bug. I don't know what's going on, but I get DC'd at a minimum once every evening. Uh, it's crazy. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why they have chose not to fix it or maybe they just haven't figured it out, but it's crazy. I wanted to create this video to share with you your comments and the feedback we got from that video of mine on what would you do to fix the end game i know what my answer is and it's a very generic one because there's many ways that activision uh, sorry that blizzard can take here but the pure and easy sa uh, question uh, answer sorry is they just got to do more they have to do more i do not want them to sit on their success season four what does that mean season four was a success so just ride that to the vessel of hatred expansion no they need to continue to elevate this game every season or else it's going to go back to the d4 bad crap and we don't want that everybody's having a good time they just got to put more in the end game anyway that'll do it everybody thank you thank you thank you for the comments on the video and the reaction to it and the support. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And if you can like, comment, and subscribe on this video, I would really appreciate it. It would help my channel grow immensely, and I would appreciate the support. And as always, we'll see you in Sanctuary. Come and check me out on Twitch. Sammy Caps will be there tonight and every night. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.